Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Victorinox Midnight Manager at Work. And this is one of those Victorinox Swiss Army knives that has a USB drive on it. And this is from the, the latest wave or the latest incarnation of this particular Swiss Army knife where it has the, the combination USB drive. And this one is, as you can see, it's the, maybe you can see, is that blurry? If I, I don't know if I can make that zoom in or not. Anyway, it says Victorinox Midnight Manager at work. So let's open this thing up and take a look at it. All right, so first of all, we've got the little book. And what it has is it has the, the, the double-ended USB drive. It's got a normal USB connector and it's got a USB-C connector. Take a quick look at the instructions in so not a language I understand. There we go. Quick look at the instructions. Y'all can pause it if you need to, if you want to take a look. i tell you one thing that I, I, I see over and over again, but I never understand, is this right here. In all the pictures of every 58 millimeter Swiss Army knife, they have this thing where whoever's doing it extends the nail file for some reason to write and that just baffles me I mean I don't get it doesn't even make sense because if you look the way it's extended if you put any pressure on it it's gonna fold up and I mean I guess maybe there's assuming you lay it against the, the that part of your hand but I don't I mean I don't know I don't know why I don't know why there's even the need for that particular effect. All right, so let's take a look at this. Now this is a little bit wider than your normal 58 millimeter Swiss Army knife. As you can see, it's relatively thick. It's about, let's see, it's about maybe five eighths of an inch, something like that. Maybe a little more. Looks like about 18 centimeters. Wait, scratch that. 18 millimeters? 18 centimeters would have been a little bit more. All right. So, a couple of interesting things about this, first of all. As you probably have noticed, there's a battery here. And I actually, I like this tendency they've started where they ship them without the battery installed, which I think is a good idea. And for the battery, what it is is it's for the flashlight. It has a little LED light right here. You press the shield and the flashlight, and actually, yeah, I'll show you how to, I'll show you how to pop a battery in this thing. All right, so what you do is this particular model. There's a little hinged door right here, like so. And all you do is you pop the battery out. You pop the battery out. Hmm. You grab a knife and pop the battery out. Man. All right. So far, the battery packaging is winning this battle. There we go. You pop the battery out like so and then it just slides in like this you slip it in close it up and it kinda doesn't exactly snap and then you realize you put it in backwards and you pop it back out now this this wasn't really part of my master plan but I will show you how to take the battery back out you see there's a little kind of a a teeny tiny little hole right there right here what you can do is you can take a pin or I don't know the little bitty micro screwdriver from another Swiss Army knife and you just insert it in here I'll do it so you can, I'll do it this way so you can see it you slide it in here and the door pops open it's kind of tough to do this at an angle where I kind of think I need to be left-handed to do this properly 
I don't know. Let's try that. Try doing it left-handed. So, you basically pop it like that. Door opens. You can slide the battery out that you probably shouldn't have shoved in as hard as you did. And slide it in the right way. And it fits much better. And then snap it shut. And then you have light. So that's the that's the light side of things on that side of the scale. On the other side of the scale, you have a pin, an ink pin, and you just extend it like so. And if you end up ever having to replace these, all you gotta do is grab the ink pen and pull on it, if you can get a grip. Sometimes, if for some reason you're wearing gloves and things are slippery, you can always just grab it and pull it out. And all you do is you pop out the pin, like so. And as you can see, it's just a simple little refill. And you just slide it back in. And it'll, if you, I don't know if y'all could hear that on camera, but it kind of, it doesn't exactly click, but you can feel it go in. And once you do that, you have it replaced. Tool wise, this one has a couple of interesting tools. You've got, oops, you've got the kind of odd bottle opener, they claim wire stripper, Phillips head screwdriver blade. You got the normal knife blade, which is pretty much common to all the 58 millimeter, well, it's the blade that comes on the 58 millimeter Swiss Army knives that come with blades. You've got scissors, like so, and these are just the small scissors, like you'd see on a classic. You've got the nail file. You've got the nail file. Apparently, I can't get out because there we go. You've got the nail file that has a little small flathead screwdriver. And then you've got the USB drive. And this USB drive, it's got, well, if you want to open it, you just, basically there's a little kind of like knurling on the plastic here, and you just, just pull it open, and it'll pop out. You can also grab the key ring if you want and pull, and it'll pop open. And you have the normal, you have the normal USB connector, or USB-A, and then you have the USB-C connector here. And if you are so inclined, you can pop this thing off. Like if you need to take it off, that kind of thing. I have a buddy of mine who does a lot of computer work. And he uses a USB drive very similar to this. Because one of the perks with this kind of connector is if you need to, you can plug this into your phone. If you have a USB-C connector. There's also a micro um, USB version of this that you could also connect. That I mean, th there are versions of this that have the other kind of connector, basically. And you can connect them to your phone. And what it lets him do is, if he's working on a computer that's like the only computer in the house, or if they're having um, network problems, it allows him to use his phone to download stuff. Down he downloads stuff to his phone from his phone under the USB drive, and then it copies it over to the computer. So it's kind of an empty little knife. It's not bad. The only issue is it's, you know, it's a little big. It's not, it's not by any stretch of the imagination a huge knife, as you can probably tell compared to, say, a larger knife. But, oh, this is, by the way, this is a Cybertool Lite, if you're interested. And I'll include link to uh, links to this in the description if you want to check it out. But it's kind of a neat little knife. I mean, I I'm a fan of the of the the Swiss Army knives that have the USB drives. I carry one around with me on my work keys. My work keys. I mean, mine is a mine is an older, much more beat up and abused version that has the older 
USB drive. This is one of the old ones. It doesn't have the, the USB-C connector. Also, for some reason, these these tend to come in like 16 gigs, and that's about it. So I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends on how much space you need to. Anyway, but like you can tell for a quick comparison, this is actually it's kind of interesting. This version of mine right here, it just has the tools you'd expect on a class on a classic. Although I guess it's a classic, it would be a classic light, well, with a laser pointer. But the thing is, if you notice, the thickness is kind of interesting. They're about the same thickness. And this one has an extra layer of tools. I don't know if you can, let me see if I can tell from the camera. Can you see right there? The USB drives got thinner. Let me pop it out and I'll show you. If you want to compare real quick. So that's the old one, and this is the new one. You can see, what they did is they made them a teeny bit thinner. And that teeny bit thinner is roughly enough to get you the extra set of tools. The extra layer of tools here. It's kind of cool. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you like these kind of Swiss Army knives? Are they, are they your choice of USB carryingness? Or do you prefer just a sort of standalone USB drive or a different kind of USB drive altogether? Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what you think about these. Kind of cool. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I hope you all have an excellent day.